What is up, everyone? Happy Friday. Friday, October 27th. Uh, plus 230 today. So I had four trades, but wasn't a lot going on. So it was hard to make any big profits. Um, started out with a um, volume runner in Coinbase. Would have been a lot bigger if I'd have held it. I'll show you that in a second. Um, a small winner in Microsoft. Boeing, a respectable winner. Continuation runner, and then a small loss in JPM. So here's what I did. Um, Coinbase, big volume bar, uh, as big as the first. It bounced up here, and um, it just kind of chopped. Um, and I kind of, I, I got a half, I think right about here, I, somewhere. I gave it like almost 30 minutes. And so then I just bailed on it because the volume runner, like you want it to bounce and then roll over. Well, this ended up rolling over, but it I exited before it got to this. So that is what it is. Uh, Microsoft. So Microsoft had this mighty 90 right here. And so it pushed down. I got out of half and then it really like shot up and I just bailed on it. Um, and so things were, it was, things were looking like it was going to get strong. You can see it ripped higher. It finally gave two red bars, which, uh, if I would have held it for two red bars, I probably would have got out about the same price that I exited. So, so that's why that was a small winner. Um, then Boeing. So Boeing, I, I tried a, a little continuation runner here. It pushed up. Um, it was, cons it was consolidating. And so I just got long right about here and it pushed down and I was talking in the live stream saying, you know, I'm just going to hold and, and I'm going to see what it does on the last, you know, last half of this, this five minute bar. I said, if it pops back up, I'm going to go ahead and just keep, uh, continue to hold it. I said, if it finishes weak though, I would bail. So you know, it dipped its toe below here and like popped right back up. So I held it. And then when it, when it uh, rolled back over here, I, I, I just exited because I, I wanted it to go through highs of day there. So, um, but holding it and letting it bounce, come back up. Um, got me a small winner. JPM tried this mighty 90, uh, got in right here. So it had a little mighty 90 and then it had two pushes down. So I got in right here thinking that's a really good fill. And then I got out right here. Um, it just wasn't going anywhere. I, you know, if this one would have pushed up and gave us two green bars, I would have exited it anyway. Um, you know, maybe it will push up here and give two green bars, but you know, the range is just so tight. I'm just not interested in it. Um, you know, and again, this may, it looks like it may be given a second green bar here. And if it comes up to about right here, then uh, that's where I would exit it anyway. So, you know, Fridays, sometimes it, the range is just very tight and it doesn't, it's hard to book profits. Uh, let's take a look for the week. Um, nice, nice week of trading on three days leading the live stream plus $1,290. I had 11 total trades, eight winners, three losers. Nice win percentage, 73%. Um, mighty 90s, not so hot. Two winners, three losers. Carried by the volume runner, five winners. No losses, so plus 1090, uh, and then just one to know that's that that's that um, Boeing continuation runner. So I'll take it plus two 1290 in three days. Um, I got uh, I think I got one more day of live stream where I'll lead the live stream in October, and then we can put a wrap on that. So I will see everybody back next week. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Talk to you later. Peace.